Data Binding to Textbox Controls In the previous lesson, we discussed about data binding to a data grid view control. Now, let's learn how to perform data binding to a set of textbox controls. We'll be using several textbox controls on our form, and we'll bind each textbox to a certain field in our binding source. We'll then be using a binding navigator control to navigate through the records in our dataset. Right then, create a new Windows Form application project called Customers Binding Navigator. Drag and drop three label controls and three text box controls to our form. Arrange the controls so that our form will look like this. Select the first text box and then expand the data bindings property in the properties window by clicking the plus sign next to it. Then, click the text property under the data bindings property. Now then, click the drop-down arrow for the text property. Doing that opens up a data source window. Click the Add Project Data Source link to invoke the Data Source Configuration Wizard, which you saw in our previous exercise. Select the database icon in the Choose a Data Source Type screen, and then click the Next button. In the Choose Your Data Connection screen, click the New Connection button. In the Add Connection dialog box, Click the Browse button and navigate to the Samples folder for Microsoft Office. Select the Northwind.mdb database in the Select Microsoft Access Database File dialog box. And then click the Open button to have the path and file name added to the text field on the Add Connection dialog box. Click the OK button to close the Add Connection dialog box. And then click the Next button on the Choose Your Data Connection screen. We'll be prompted with a dialog box that informs us that the data file is not part of our project and asks if we want to add it. Click the Yes button in the dialog box. Click the Next button on the Save the Connection string to the Application Configuration File screen. In the Choose Your Database Object screen, expand the Tables node in the Database Objects list, and then expand the Customers table. Select the checkbox for Company Name, Contact Name, and contact title, and then click Finish. Click the drop-down arrow next to the text property in the Properties window. Doing that opens up the Data Source window. Expand the Other Data Sources node, the Project Data Sources node, the Northwind Dataset node, and finally, the Customers node. Now then, click the Company Name field. The window will close and the text field under the Data Bindings property will be bound to the Company Name field in your dataset. If we look at the bottom of the IDE, notice that a Northwind Dataset Component, Customer's Binding Source Component, and Customer's Table Adapter Component have all been automatically generated. Click the second text box on the form, and then click the Text property under the Data Bindings property in the Properties window. Now then, click the drop-down arrow for the text property, and then expand the Customer's Binding Source node in the Data Source window, and then click the Contact Name field. Click the third text box on your form, and then click the Text Property under the Data Bindings property in the Properties window. Click the drop-down arrow for the text property. Expand the Customer's Binding Source node in the Data Source window, and then click the Contact Title field. Return to the toolbox. Drag a Binding Navigator control from the Data tab to our form. The Binding Navigator control will be automatically docked to the top of the form. In the Properties window, locate the Binding Source property and then click that field. Now, click the drop-down arrow for the Binding Source property and choose Customer's Binding Source from the list. Finally, click the Start button on the toolbar to run the application. The output will look like this. We can navigate through the records in our data source, navigate backward and forward, as well as able to go to the first and last record. Clicking the Delete button will delete records from your data sets, but will not delete records from the database. Likewise, clicking the Add button will add an empty record to our data set, but not to the database. Now, the beauty of using the Data Navigator control is that we can quickly build a form that will navigate through the records of our database without writing a single line of code.